Today we'll be looking at the assembly and operation of the PDW Thailine MFSS multi-fuel survival stove. In the box, you will find a brief instruction manual. Your stove in its handy carrier bag. A bag of parts. The stove proper. The internal fuel basket. And the tines to support the cup or pot that you'll be cooking in. First step, retract the legs. Second is going to be installing the tines. You'll notice that the tines have a folded back on it. This folded back is installed facing outward. There are three positions on the perimeter of the stove that have convenient insertion slots. Next, you'll install the fuel basket. In this orientation, it will support an alcohol stove core or biomass fuel, such wood, leaves, pine cones, and even cardboard, and so on. In this orientation, you'll support a hexamine style fuel tablet. To install it for alcohol or biomass fuel, you'll take note of the tines poking out. Here they align with another group on the interior. And now you're set for alcohol stove or biomass fuel. To set it up for fuel tablets, simply turn it over, install, and rotate until it seats. The next step would be adjusting the width of the tines for the cooking vessel that you're working with. As I said when we started, this is for a larger pot. If you rotate them inward, now you can accommodate a cup or a small alpine pot. PDW Thailine MFSS is designed to accommodate an alcohol burner. Here at PDW, we offer our optional Thailine ABC alcohol burner core. This alcohol burner core can be run on denatured alcohol, 91% isopropyl alcohol, or high proof alcohol like Everclear or other overproof spirits. It can hold one or two ounces or 30 to 60 milliliters and burn effectively. It's designed to be able to boil approximately a cup or a cup and a half to two cups of water. Installation is relatively simple. When using the alcohol core with the stove, the steps are as follows. First, make sure that the tines are in the large pan position so that you can insert the alcohol core. Second, add one or two ounces of alcohol to the stove. One ounce or 30 milliliters of alcohol fuel should boil a cup and a half of water. Third, place stove inside.
reset the position to accommodate the size of the vessel that you'll be using. Ignite. In the ins room, while you're waiting for the jets to fire up, take your container. and fill with between a cup or a cup and a half of water. After ignition, you'll see that the ring of jets around the outer perimeter of the core will start to emit flame. At this point, add your water and wait for boil. Depending on altitude, you should have boiling water in two and a half to three minutes. When using a hexamine type fuel tab with the stove, first step, remove and rotate the inner fuel basket. When using the stove with natural or biomass fuel sources, you'll have to take a few things into consideration. One would be your tinder. Today I'll be using a manufactured tinder, paraffin, impregnated wood with a small pouch in the middle that has scraped magnesium. You can also forage for tinder, dry leaves, small twigs, so on and so forth. And then fuel. Whatever's readily available in terms of small sticks and the like. So for starters, we set our tinder in the center and a small amount of fuel so as not to obstruct the tinder so we can get this lit. Today we're going to be using a safety match.
when you're comfortable with the amount of burn you've got, you can start adding more fuel. Before everything gets too hot, don't forget to turn the tines in for the size of pot you'll be working with. So as your fire gets rolling, Set your pot. As your fuel burns through, you'll notice that on this side of the stove, there's a cutout port so you can continue to add fuel. So as long as you've got fuel to feed it, you've got fire to cook with.